Well, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hi, Hi welcome. teacher. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome. teacher. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. We will begin here in about one minute. Okay. Let me just get this attendance ready. And let me see. I know today's your last day for this week, right? So you can have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to enjoy the weekend. Let me see. We are going to finish unit, uh, section four. And as you can see, I sent a message to the group, right? Eh, mandé un mensaje al grupo con un listado, pero tome nota, ok, because ya para hoy tienen que haber eh, terminado tan siquiera la sección 4, ok, tienen hasta la medianoche for today, and let me see, son varios de ustedes, right, son como 10, ok, casi un tercio. Now, remember that um, es un requisito, right? Es un requisito, no mío, ni es, es de INSAFOR y es el compromiso que ustedes también establecieron con ellos, al igual con inglés corporativo, que era parte de su responsabilidad. Ok, y les digo eso porque no quiero que sean afectados para el proceso de beca. Okay, let me see. Jose, you raise your hand. Yes, teacher. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, I can, I recommend one application to reinforce English. Okay. You can send it to the group. If you have a recommendation, you can send it to the group. An application that you would like to share. Yes, please send it to the group and that will be welcomed. That would be great, Jose. I use the uh, the Duolingo. Okay, can you send it to the group so you, in the group the WhatsApp group so you the class can see it? Okay. okay. Así pueden okay. ver de lo que a lo que te está refiriendo. Ahí no la mandas y pon tus recomendaciones. Maybe you can say why you recommend the app. Okay, por la cual la recomiendas y todo. Lo puedes mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Bienvenido bueno. a esa información. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see, and I sent the list, so please, please complete it, okay? Algunos tienen como parte hecha, pero no la han completado en total. So please remember, una vez más, recordarles que es un requisito establecido por INSAFOR, obtener el 80% de nota en la plataforma, okay? No nomás en una, sino que en todas. In all of them, right? Ese es el requisito y es responsabilidad de cada uno y es responsabilidad mía eh, informarles eso. Ok? So, nomás cumplenla y es todo. Ok? Just do it. Complete it. Por favor, traten de completarla ya para hoy a medianoche. Ok? Tienen hasta hoy para completar la sección 4. Ok? Eh, ya los que ya lo completaron. Okay, eh, felicidades, and you don't have to worry about this, okay? You no tiene que preocuparse sobre esto, okay? Evitemos los, los atrasos, evitemos los atrasos eh, para el proceso de sus becas, para el siguiente módulo, okay? Bueno, ya vieron los nombres, no es necesidad que los llame aquí, eh, ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp, eh, me he enfocado eh, en realizar el listado para que todos estén pendientes, Y, y así pueden ver si están en esa lista o no, right? Los que no están, pues obvio ya lo hicieron. Ok, y continuemos. Now, I'm going to begin with the attendance, right? Gusto tenerlos y tenerlas aquí hoy presente. And we will begin with the attendance, the first attendance of the day. Ok, let me see. Ok. Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Luis Quiroa. 
Present. Thank you. Cesar Mauricio Morales. Present. Thank you. Mm, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Dania Guadalupe. Ok, no hay respuesta. Eh, Dania Saraí Martínez. Present. Ok. Daniel Isaías. Present. Thank you. Diana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Edith Alicia. Edith Alicia. Okay. La respuesta. Erica Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Edelmira. Ingrid. Okay. No answer. Jacqueline Vanessa. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. Okay. No answer. Jorge Cuellar. Okay. Jose Eulogio Lopez. Present. Thank you. <clears throat> Ligia Esther. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Luis Eliazar Hernández. Present. Thank you. Luis Gonzalo Alemán. Present teacher. Thank you. Marielos Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Melissa Valeria Morales. Present. Thank you. Ronald Antonio. Present. Okay, thank Present. you. Sandra Vaquero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Wendy Garcia. Present. Okay, great. Jennifer Lemos. Present. Thank you. Jessica Contreras. Present. Okay, thank you. Sulma. Present. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Okay, great. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me just take a screen. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to share screen with the... Let me see. The weather. Vamos a ir con la web. Este es un tema basic. This is just a basic topic relating with weather, okay? el ambiente, the seasons. And this is just going to take a few, few minutes. Okay. Here we have weather and seasons around the world. So, seasons. Right. Yesterday I talked to you about seasons, que es lo que significaba seasons, and we established como el verano, right, winter, summer, spring, las temporadas. Okay, let's begin. I want you to just listen to the audio. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold which illustrates how this topic is used.
Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. The conversation that we just heard. Okay, so now let's just, it's recommended that we practice the conversation. But what are the seasons? ¿Cuáles son los four seasons que se ven? Que vimos anterior. Do you remember them? Si no se acuerdan, I will write them for you, okay? Vimos spring. We saw summer. 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 Another one. Winter. Fall. Winter. Yes, and fall. And dijo fall. Is that right? Yes. Winter. All right. All right. Very good. So those are spring. the four seasons, right? I know in some parts, alguna parte de, del país, right? In some parts of El Salvador, some we we don't. Uh, a veces no hay cuatro, right? <laughs> Dos o tres, right? Two or three, right? Parte de Oriente es, eh, parece que siempre es summer, right? <laughs> no baja de 40 grados en Oriente, right? But it's, it's different in certain parts of the world, okay? But there are considered, it is considered to be in the climate four seasons, cuatro. Spring, summer, winter, fall, okay? In Spanish, ¿qué significa fall? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa fall? Otoño. Very good, very good. Winter? Invierno. Invierno. Summer? Verano. 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 Very good. And spring? Primavera. 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 Very good. Those are the four, right? Yes, great. Now, uh, can you see the conversation? ¿Alguien puede ver la conversación? Melissa, can you see it? Yes. Okay, can you start, please? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Ahora seleccione a alguien. Select someone. Eh, Zulma. Okay, go ahead, Zulma, continue. Was they, was they, um, matter? Okay. Mother? What's the matter? What's the matter. matter? Okay, repeat. What's the matter? Okay, select someone, selección a alguien, y así vamos a ir en cadena. Um, Daniel. Okay. Hola. Hi. Okay, continue, please. Eh, eh, ¿Cree que puede quitar un poquito el, el cuadro? What's the matter? Eh, is, ¿Cómo se dice en la Okay, snowing. 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 No, snowing. Snowing. It's no, snowing. Yes, so. Snowing. Okay, right. Uh, it's snowing. Um, um, they're very cool. Mm, it's, it's. It's, is. Very cold. It's very cool. Okay, very good. Very good. Select someone. Okay. Um, uh, Diana, Diana Veronica. Okay, go ahead. Are you wearing your gloves? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, Diana. Okay, select someone. No le escuchamos. Hello. Okay. A Carlos. Okay, Carlos. No, they no, they are home. Okay, they're at home. All right, Carlos, select someone. Erica. Okay, Erica, go ahead. Okay, yes. Uh, well, you're wearing your coat. Okay, very good. Well, you're wearing your coat, right? Very good. Erica, select someone. Um, Wendy Rodriguez. Okay, Wendy. <laughs> Go ahead. 
but my coat is not warm. Um, I am not wearing boots. Okay, very good. But remember, oh, when there's contraction, when oh, there's contraction, you have to say tax. the contraction, right? Oh, thank you. Okay, folks. Okay. okay. Alguien está hablando. Okay, te estamos escuchando, Carlos. Okay, so ya activé el micrófono. Okay, let me see. Um, but my coat isn't, isn't, isn't. But my coat isn't warm. Okay. And and I'm not wearing boots. Very good. Much better. Much better. Mucho mejor. Very good. Select someone. Um. Dania, Saraí. Ok, Saraí. Porque es lo que más he estado consumiendo. Ok, eh, no le escuchamos. I can't hear you. Hello, Saraí. Ok, ok, let's take a taxi. Finish. Very good, okay? So, okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, ah, está lloviendo, or it's, it's cold, or it's hot, right? And you need to put the proper wear. Se tiene que poner la ropa apropiada, right? So sometimes you're not going to wear a sweater y está bien caliente afuera, right? Be like, okay, so maybe you change clothing when you travel, okay? When you travel to different parts, right? Puede ir de una parte a otra y está más frío, ¿no? Te vi, like, ah, no traje ni la chamara o something, right? So, can you think of a, of a situation that you had to change clothes por la temperatura? ¿Alguien que pueda dar una experiencia como ejemplo? Like, for example, I can say, yeah, when I went to Santa Ana or when I went to uh, afuera, right? When I went to to Costa Rica, right? Certain parts are cold at night. Jose? Yes, teacher. Hi. Uh, um, I live in from in Metapan, okay. but I travel uh, one uh, little seat is um, Chalatenango. Okay. Pital. Okay. And here Metapan is hot, here. very hot. Here. Here in Metapan, here. Here Metapan is very hot. And so oh, I travel. No sé cómo se dice allá. Okay, there, there. There is very, very cool. <laughs> very cool. So what do you wear? Do you wear a t-shirt or do you, what do you wear? A t-shirt. A t-shirt, okay. <laughs> but what about a night? At night, do you wear a t-shirt or you wear a coat? Do you wear a coat or you still wear a t-shirt? Only t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you for the experience, Jose. Okay. Anyone else that would like to share an experience where you... Me, coach. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Two years ago, two years ago to travel to Costa Rica, but weather is... Um, on the uh, weather is raining. Oh, okay. Okay, very, okay, so it was raining, okay. All day raining. <laughs> All day, right? You're like, ah, por qué, right? Why, right, why, right? When I come to, to Costa Rica, it's raining, right? Okay, well, thank you, thank you. So you had to, you had to put a coat if you went outside, right? A raincoat. Si tenía que salir, te tenía que poner a uh, raincoat, right? Okay, great, great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Anyone else before we go to the next topic? This is just with climate, right? The tema no más era de climate. So let's, um, well, thank you for participating in the discussion here. Now, the next part is a little bit more grammatical, okay? Esta parte ya es un poquito más, más gramatical. It's a little bit more grammatical. And we are talking about present continuous. Present continuous, el presente continuo. Okay, here you're going to see the structure and we're going to look at another video y tengo una pequeña actividad para ustedes. Okay, 
But first, let's watch the present continuous, and it's important to learn the structure, la estructura, okay? The structure is very important. So let's, let's proceed into the present continuous. My wife is... Okay, let me see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, plus some kind of complement. Okay, I want you to write this. Espero tomen tome nota en esta estructura y las tengan escrita. Subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing plus complement. Complement, el complemento, right? This is the structure for present continuous. Okay. Si no utilizan esta estructura, if you do not use this structure, you are not using present continuous, aunque pueden incluir el verbo con ing. Si no hay el verb to be, esta oración no es, o lo que están diciendo no se considera present continuous, therefore it would be incorrect. Okay? Es como español, right? Yo, yo trabajando, right? Yo estoy trabajando, right? And the same thing with English. I am working. I am uh, drinking a soda, right? I am eating pizza. Remember the structure. No pueden dejar una de estas tres afuera. Okay, never. Okay, let's continue. Moment. Okay. Let me see. I don't know what happened. Okay. Dígame si lo escuchan. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Sentence plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. 
For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Your family, your friends. <clears throat> Okay, now, this is present continuous, right? When we talk about actions that are in progress and are continuing, they are continuing. So, for example, I can say, I am, I am speaking right now, okay? Yo estoy hablando ahorita. What are you doing right now? Si yo estoy hablando o, o I'm projecting this video, what are you doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ustedes? What are you doing? I listen. I listening. Ah, listening. I repeat. I listen to the class. Uh, okay. Oigo hay unas fallas. Wendy, can you repeat it again, please? I listening, teacher. Okay. Y remember, la estructura es subject y el verb to be. El verb to I be. am Eso. Listening. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Yo estoy escuchando. Very good, Wendy. I am listening. Remember the verb to be. Anyone else? Anyone else? What are you doing right now? So if I ask you, um, what are it's you a... doing right now? Yes? I'm learning English. Very good. I'm learning English, right? Very good. So we always use, remember, don't forget the structure, right? Subject. Bueno, yo pienso que lo escribieron, right? And then verb to be. And then verb plus ing. Okay. Purple. And then we have what is called the complement, right? Final complement. Subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing plus complement. So uh, let me see. Si ahorita estuvieran. Comiendo, como lo di, how would you say it? I am eating. Ok, ¿le puede dar un complemento? Right mm. now. Ok, right now, o comiendo qué? I am eating apple. An apple, an apple. I am eating a fish. Ok, a fish. Quiero una pregunta. Ok. Es que he estado viendo que en varias oraciones ponen el at. ¿Para qué se utiliza el at? Okay. Es que eh, yo sabía que era para, para la hora, pero ¿para qué más? Para, para el lugar. Preposition of place. Preposition of place. Como la, el, estoy comiendo at home, at the office. Ah, okay. En la casa, en la oficina, ¿ok? Okay. ok. Very good. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Preposition of place. ¿Ok? Or preposition of time. Tiene las dos opciones, el at. Okay, <clears throat> let me see. What else? What else? And what about? Uh, let me see. Si están tomando soda. I am drinking soda. Very good. ¿Quién dijo eso? Yo, Melissa. Melissa. Okay, very good. Ahora alguien me va a decir. Eh, lo que acaba de decir Melissa en third person. ¿Alguien me puede decir lo que acaba de decir Melissa? Que está tomando Ay, soda. Ah, pero en inglés. En inglés. She is drinking soda. Ah, very good. She is drinking soda, right? I am drinking. Right? She is drinking soda. Porque ya estamos hablando de quién? De ella. Ella. 
Uh -huh. Very good. So, así es como podemos analizar el tercer persona. Ahora, what is ella? Si yo quiero cambiar el nombre de ella a nombre propio, how would it be? Melissa. Excellent. Very good. Podemos cambiarlo incluso a poner Melissa. Okay. Melissa is drinking soda. Okay. Very good. Right. Hey, let me see. Um, digamos, ejemplo, ok. Déjame agarrar mi teléfono. ¿Pueden ver el phone? ¿Sí? ¿Lo pueden ver? ¿El teléfono? Yes. Ok, great. Yes. Ok. Estoy hablando por teléfono. ¿Quién está hablando por teléfono? The teacher calling is calling. Ok, está llamando. Yo dije, está hablando. Eh, talk, está hablando. O puede decir, está llamando. Pueden decir cualquiera. ¿verdad? Calling. Ok, ¿a quién? Talking, talking her wife. Mm, ok, her. His wife. His wife, very good, ok. Ok, y si estoy llamando... Uh, dime otro ejemplo. Él está llamando a la compañía. ¿Mm? The teacher is calling company. The company. The company. The, company. Uh -huh. the teacher is calling the company. Ok, very good, very good. Excellent, right? Y si queremos cambiar el nombre de teacher a nombre propio. Henry is calling Henry. the company. Henry. Henry is calling. Uh -huh. Complete. Henry, Henry is, calling is calling the company. Very good, very good. Henry is calling the company. So that, that's how you can talk in third person, right? Sin decir I, I, you, 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 right? You can start using proper names. Proper names. Okay, let me see. What about if I... Y si vamos a nosotros, nosotros estamos leyendo el libro. We are reading a book. Very good, very good. We are reading, we are reading a book. Un libro o el libro, pueden decir the book or a book. We are reading a book. Notice subject, right? Verb to be. And then verb with ing and complement. Okay, complement. So that is how you can you can uh, structureize, structurar the present continuum. Now, <clears throat> can someone give me some more examples? Alguien me puede dar sus propios ejemplos. Ya le di los míos propios. Alguien más. Pueden utilizar un familiar o un amigo o, o ficcionalmente, fictional. Sandra. Bueno, yo tengo uno. They, ¿Por qué? They are flying, flying a tree. No sé cómo pronunciar. Flighting, flighting. Mm. Ellos están, they, they, no, pero, they are planting a tree. Ellos ah, están plantando yes, un árbol. Yes, that is correct. Sandra, la última vez que lo digo, you did it perfect, right? Planting. Excelente. Very good, Sandra. Very good. Okay. Yes. Se puede, you are speaking in class. Yes, yes, that is correct. Thank you, Luis. Yes. Someone else. Teacher, for example. Mm -hmm. um, my family is watching television. Yes, perfect. My family said the subject is in television, watching television, right? Dania Sarai, yes. Yes. I cannot hear you good. Uh, Dania, no la escucho bien. My mom is cooking pizza. Is cooking pizza? Dijo? Pizza, Oh, chicken. 
Yes. Okay, my mom is cooking chicken. Okay, that is correct. Thank you, Dania. Very good, very good. Diana. Veronica. My husband is working. Okay, y complemento. My husband is working. Mm -hmm. Trabajando. Eh, no sé cómo dice eso. Eh, okay. At the company. Okay. He's working at the, the company. company. Okay. Very good. Very good. Diana, very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Anyone else? Por aquí hay una mano levantada aquí. Um, Melissa? Yes. Okay. She's painting a lion. Okay, very good. She is painting a lion. Okay, great, great. Someone else? Jose? Eh, Eulogio? Yes, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I am working while I study English. Very good. I am working while I am studying English. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Anyone else? Wendy Esmeralda. The bunny is jumping in the yard. Okay, the bunny is jumping in the yard. All right, very good, very good, all right? The bunny, guess bunny. What is bunny, class? Conejo. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, right? Bunny, right? De forma cariñosa, bunny, right? Bunny. Okay. Um, el conejito, conejita, right? Very good, very good, very good. Um, let's continue with the next part. Now, it is still present continuous, okay? The next part is still present continuous, but it's with um, short answers. Let me see. A E in forma interrogativa, in question form, okay? Now, when we do question form, ahí cambia un poquito. It changes a little bit the structure, the estructura. So, let me see. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she, wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now I will give you the subject the verb plus some kind of compliment and you need to write the questions for example I'm gonna give you mention the subject will be you uh, the verb eat and in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the, 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 the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a 
progressive form are you eating dinner it's the complement and of course add the question mark there so I'm gonna give you more and you should um, make these questions as I explain after you have finished go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums it's the compliment and if after okay great now if you notice when we talk about the present continuous in question form we use the verb to be first okay cuando hacemos la pregunta we use the verb to be first ya sea in singular or plural the verb to be for whatever subject you are talking about okay now <clears throat> Sandra dio un ejemplo, right? Eh, earlier, right? Something about planting a tree, right? Plantar un árbol, para que dijo, right? Can okay. you repeat that? Can you repeat the sentence, please? Okay. Dije, they, they are planting okay. a tree. Very good, a tree. Okay? Period. Now, we're going to use Sandra's sentence as an example. Esto es la forma afirmativa que ella dio. Ellos están plantando un árbol, right? Now, how will you, how will you change it? ¿Cómo la cambiarían para hacer una pregunta? ¿Están ellos plantando un árbol? Right? Okay. How would you say that in, in English using the structure que acabamos de ver, that we just saw? Are, right. they, are, are they, they planting a tree? Okay. Y luego que ponemos al final. El símbolo. Ok, en inglés. No, interrogación. En uh. inglés. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice el signo. Ah, uh -huh. what happened? Question <laughs> eh, mark. Question mark, yes. yes. Question mark. Remember, en varias actividades les va a solicitar el question mark. Cuando hagan las actividades en la plataforma. Si no ponen el question mark, pum, está mala. Right. So remember, remember to put the question mark. Now, how will we answer, digamos, are they planting a tree? Short answer. Alguien me puede decir sí o no. Si es sí o no. How will you say? Yes, they are. Okay, va. Wow. Very good. Yes, they are, dijo. Primero. Ojo aquí. Primero, cuando iniciamos la respuesta, la iniciamos con letra mayúscula. Mayúscula, yes. Y luego, coma, espacio, yes, they are. Mm. Y luego, period, un punto. ¿Ok? Esto les ayudará a que en algunas respuestas, unas pueden ser aceptadas y otras no, lleve el punto al final de cada respuesta. ¿Ok? okay. No van a poner dos espacios, ponerle D y luego le dan dos o tres espacios así, después poner la respuesta, no se las va a aceptar. ¿Ok? Son, uh -huh. eh, quizás algunos que ya lo hicieron, eh, lo tomaron en cuenta o realizaron las actividades, ¿sabes? Right? Remember, mayúscula, punto al final. Si van a hacer oh, Cristo. Si van a hacer preguntas, ¿ok? Si van a hacer en una actividad como en el en el final, el examen final, se va a pedir que, que construyan unas preguntas. Las preguntas tienen que llevar el question mark al final, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, <coughs> Así como está aquí. ¿Ok? Si no ponen el, signo, el question mark, you will get it wrong. ¿Ok? You will get it wrong. Now, cuando hay preguntas así de sí o no, si una es que esta sale mal, obvio, ¿cuál sería la, la otra entonces? No. No, no right? they no. Not. Teacher. Right? Right? Very good. No. Teacher. 
are not or or contraction, right? They they aren't. Very good. No. They aren't. Y recuerde poner los espacios. Un espacio. One space. ¿Y qué ponemos al final? Punto. Are you, okay. <laughs> English? Period. 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 Lo pueden escribir. Se le Period. llama. Period. Ok. I'm going to it. Period. 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 Okay. Okay. No vayan a poner esta palabra o digan esta palabra that como punto, como en español. No, no, no. Period. Ok. Period. Period. Esta palabra existe nomás para aclarar esto. That. Sí existe la palabra that que significa un punto. Por ejemplo, eh, hay un punto aquí en la pared, ¿verdad? Right? Un puntito. O en la pizarra hay un punto ahí, Chicho, en el, o en el cuaderno, ¿verdad? Right? Un punto. Lo un que... punto gramatical. Ah, exactamente. Teacher, y en point. Period. También creo que se dice point, point. punto. Point. Right? You can use point too. But eh, cuando estamos haciendo lectura, gramaticalmente es period. ¿Ok? Period. Period. Okay. Okay. Esta quizás es una palabra nueva para algunos, pero es importante mm -hmm. que la sepan, right? De forma, eh, cuando hablamos de literatura o, o ya gramática, period. ¿Ok? Teacher, en algunas ocasiones, cuando dan un correo, al final dicen dot com. Mm -hmm. Dot com también, right? Para, para cuando hablamos de eh, electrónico, cosas electrónicas como correo electrónico, dot com. ¿Ok? Dot com. Porque ahí no estamos, ahí no estamos formulando una oración. Right? Por eso no usan period. Dicen dot. ¿Ok? Punto com. Right? Pero ya en forma gramatical para estructurar oraciones, esta es la, esta es la palabra adecuada. Sí. Period. ¿Ok? All right, let me see. <clears throat> Now, eh, that was just a little, a little, Information extra for you. Poquito información extra para ustedes. Okay. Remember que yo no les puedo dar respuestas en ninguna de las preguntas. Lo que sí les puedo, si la sacan correcto o algo, nomás un punto, yes, ok. Tampoco, right? Voy a decir, ah, oh, right. but if I see que van por el lado correcto, yes, I will help you or give you other examples or uh, a little bit of, of help, pero la respuesta correcta, correcta, no se las puedo dar. Okay, I can help you only to acquire the senses, right? Como por ejemplo, cuando hay sonidos, right? En una actividad hay sonidos, and some of you have asked me, right, teacher, ¿qué sonido es este? Right? I can help you with that, but, for example, hay una que está, que es un sonido como, ta, 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 king, se ve como king, right? Es una máquina de escribir, okay? Una typewriter. Typewriter, okay? Typewriter. Y ahí pregunta como qué hace ella, right? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? What is Mary doing, right? No le puedo dar la respuesta y no la digan ahorita, right? Pero el sonido es de una máquina de escribir, right? It's a typewriter. It's a typewriter. Hay quizás, uh, si ya lo hicieron, algunos ya lo lograron, ¿ok? Algunos lograron esa, esa, <laughs> esa respuesta, right? But it's, it's una máquina de escribir. So, ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Ahí lo escriben ustedes, ¿ok? Let me see qué actividad está haciendo. Yes, Jose. Eh, teacher, yo tenía una pregunta, pero con el tema anterior del period. Este, por ejemplo, cuando es una conferencia, dice, ok, yo tengo un punto que tocar. En ese caso, el punto, ¿cómo se expresa? Ok, I have a point. point. Ah, ok. I have a point. Or, or, para que sea un poquito más con otra palabra, a topic, un tema, ¿ok? Para no utilizar la palabra punto. Esta es un okay. poquito más proper. Usa esta en tus conferencias y, y vas a engrandecer el vocabulario. Va a formar. Okay. I have a topic. Oh, ok, ok. Punto, punto. Right? Es, esto es un poquito, sí está bien, pero es un poquito sencillo. Esto es un poquito más formal. ¿Ok, José? Ok. Very good, Thank very good question. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. I'm going to take this away.
Now I have an activity, very short activity. Okay. Okay, let me know if you see it. <clears throat> but the one activity that I realized for you is going to be just a few minutes. Liz, we're going to do it here in class. It says, make the sentences into question form. Okay? ¿Se acuerdan la estructura de question form? Okay, si lo tienen escrito, mucho que mejor. It says, you are playing the piano. How will you make this into a question form? Are you playing the piano? Very good, right? Are you playing the piano? Nomás cambiamos el verb to be. Let me see. Nomás cambiamos el verb to be y lo ponemos aquí enfrente, right? That's it. Y ya se hace. ¿Y qué le ponemos al final? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Mark. Yes, mark. question mark. ¿Saben de qué? Se lo puede escribir. Okay. Así ya les queda clarito. Question mark. Question mark. ¿Qué es? Este. Okay. Remember that in English, el question mark no más bien al final, no como en español, al principio y al final. Only at the end. Ok. Clararé. Only at the end. Ok, let's continue. <clears throat> Jose López, can you do the next one, please? Uh, que lo lea nada más, teacher. Así eh, como está. Así como está y lo convierte. John is working in, in a school library. 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 Is John working in the school library? Library. Li li library. Library. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Is John working in the school library? Very good. Excellent. Melissa, next one. Um, are the students sharpening their pencils? Very good. Are the students sharpening their pencils, right? In the, in the sentences, the students are sharpening the pencils. So, ponemos el R al inicio y luego el subject, que son los estudiantes, y luego el complement. El verbo ING plus complement. Very good. Eh, let me see. Uh, Diana. We are shopping. We are photocopying. Okay. Photocopying some papers. Okay. Y ahora, question form. Are we photocopying some papers? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Let me see. ¿A quién no he escuchado hoy? Uh -huh. eh, let me see. Jessica? <laughs> ah. All right. Can you read, please? I am clean. They black board, border. Okay, board. 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 Okay. And I... Cleaning the blackboard. Okay, very good, very good, excellent, good effort, muy buen esfuerzo. Yes, I am cleaning the blackboard. Am the I black cleaning board. the blackboard, right? Now, aquí le voy a dar un poquito más de vocabulario. Eh, let me see. Blackboard es la pizarra de esa donde dice. De yeso. De yeso, yes, thank you, thank you, right? Ya iba a decir yo, how do you say that in okay. Spanish, right? De yeso, thank you, right? And the whiteboard. It's the one on this uh, Plumon. marker. Plumones. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the plumones. Yes, como que me están leyendo la mente, right? All right. Let me see. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for helping me in the Spanish. All right. Very good. So blackboard is what you already mentioned. And the whiteboard is a little bit different, okay? Very good. Excellent. Now, we have here short answers. Short answers. For the practice, let me see. Um, Ligia, hello, Ligia. Okay, are you learning English? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
Very good, very good, excellent. So you can choose either one. So if I ask you, Ligia, are you learning English? Yes, I am. Very good, excellent, very good. Let me see. Um, Marielos, hello, Marielos. Hello. Hi, can you do the next one, please? Is he reading a book? Okay. Yes, he is, and no, he's not. Okay, or in contraction? No, he isn't. He isn't. Very good, very good, very good. Now, um, let me see. Digamos que él sí esté leyendo un libro, right? How will you respond if I ask, is he reading a book, Marielos? Yes, he is reading a book. Okay, no, short answer, no más short answer. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, he is. Very good, yes, he is. ¿Por qué? Porque así le, va, así le van a salir algunas en, los, en las preguntas de la plataforma, okay? Short answers. Okay, thank you, Marielos, thank you. And the last one, let me see, is it um, Angel? Hello, Angel. Hello. Okay. Are they working? Yes, they are. No, they're, they aren't. Okay, very good. So if I ask you, are they working uh, in negative form, in negative answer, how will you say it? If I ask you, hey, Angel, are they working? No, they aren't. They aren't. Very good, very good, excellent. No, they aren't, right? No, they aren't. Very good, very good. I still in a practical case for ustedes, so you can get a, a more understanding about the present continuous. The present continuous. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance and remember, remember, okay, that next week finalizamos ya el modo, okay. Next week, we finish the, mod the module, and we will uh, finish section five, section five. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. Y ya no me faltan unos minutos. And I'm going to begin, okay? Let me just take... Um, the... Okay. Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Luis. Ponerlo por favor. Ponerlo por favor. Ok, Carlos César a mí. No Present. Okay. Present, profe. No, te estaba apagando el micrófono porque estábamos escuchando. Ok, la conversación que estabas teniendo. Ok, Carlos Luis Quiroa. <coughs> One more time. Carlos. Present. Thank you. Eh, César Morales. Present. Ok, thank you. Um, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Ok, no answer. Dania Saraí. Present. Thank you. Daniel Isaías. Present. Thank you. Diana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Edith Alicia. Edith Alicia Rico, okay, no answer. Erica Alejandra Rivas. Present. Okay, thank you. Ingrid Edelmira. Okay. Jacqueline Vanessa Lopez. Jorge Cuellar. Okay, no answer. Jose Lopez. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Ligia Esther. Present. Thank you. Luis Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Luis Alemán. Present. Thank you. Marielos Alejandra. Present. Mm, okay, thank you. Melissa. Present. Okay. Thank you. Ronald. Present. 
Right, thank you. Sandra Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Wendy Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Wendy Garcia. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Lemus. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, <laughs> okay yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Contreras. <laughs> Present. Okay, thank you. Sulma Vasquez. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right, let me. Okay, already. <clears throat> okay, ya lo hice la asistencia. Now, be ready for, for next week. Be ready for next week and remember to review the topics. Before we enter class, ya revisen los temas antes de entrar a la clase for next week, because it's the last week, okay? <clears throat> and um, I hope to see you and have a great weekend. Hope to see you Monday. Remember that the attendance eh, es una prioridad también, es un requisito la asistencia, los minutos de conectividad. Okay, any question? Jose, do you have a question? Yes, gonna... sir. Okay, go ahead. I just want to make a review. His class are super fun and interesting, very interactive. Thank you. Thank you for your comment, Jose Lopez. Gracias por su comentario. Thank you, right? Thank you. It's important to hear comments like that. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Okay. So for the rest of you, <clears throat> ¿alguien tiene algo más que agregar? Anything else? Anyone would like to say? If not, si no, have a great weekend. Take care. Disfrútenlo. And I'll see you next week. Okay? Thank, Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you, bye. teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.